easy and Natalie. Back to them. They now have a podcast together and they're on the topic of friendships, exposing them. The fake ones, of course. Their podcast is an hour long. I didn't even watch the whole thing. I scrolled through it and they're talking about the same topic. I don't like watching podcasts that only talk about one topic. I get bored easily, but I'm just gonna start from the beginning. It's on the Easy and Natalie channel. It's called Exposing Our Fake Friends. Just Between Us is the podcast. So let's go ahead and watch. Y'all ready? Let's go. I just cry, feel baby. like, no, 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 no. I just, I just feel like it's just, it's just so hard to find a good friend around here. I know, baby. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you fucking lying, I bitch. Know. All I need is my baby and that's it. Put the shades on, baby. Put the yeah, shades it's on. Getting, it's about to get real shady up in here because mm -hmm. I'm tired of holding my goddamn tongue. Yeah. That's what I'm tired of. Yeah. I'm tired of these fake ass friends. And I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired of always taking the high road. Yeah. I'm let's tired of it. being the mature one. Mm, I'm tired of always giving people the benefit of the doubt. I'm tired. What are you tired, baby? I'm not being my truest petty self. Cause Yo. Lord, only Lord knows. <laughs> only Lord. God knows God how much knows. I hold back. Damn. A lot of uh, niggas would have got their they, they would have got their ass beat. If mm. we want to be real, but I'm not in real you. life. Yeah. Not just talking about it on social media. You know what I'm saying? That's in annoying. Real life, you have to. That's annoying. That because now they're acting tough, and that annoys the hell out of me. Just because you guys have dealt with things by physically fighting doesn't make you badass. It doesn't make you cool. This is you guys indirectly threatening people, but because of your social status and your brand, you're sugarcoating it, and that's so fucking annoying to me. Okay, go ahead. Keep, keep going, pretend to be tough. That low and call me names because you hurting about your pockets. Let but, but listen to what you just said though. You are hurt too. For you guys to have that type of anger to want to fight somebody, they hurt your feelings. Just because you might have dealt with it differently than they have, they're, they're talking, but y'all rather fight. Y'all are all hurt. They're not the only ones. House, telling people our business, inviting around our family. Like, I'm tired of this shit. Y'all all are fake as fuck. Fuck your bitch in the click you claim. West side when we ride, come and click. <laughs> we hit a million subscribers! Oh, they hit a million? Oh, Congratulations. Oh, baby. Can you That's what's believe up? it? We did it? Wait. Travel back a second okay. to 2019 Damn. when we first took the leap of faith on our YouTube channel. Damn. That's and big. Imagine that's huge. Where Wait, we are I'm, now. Listen, I'm, that's a huge growth. Like from 2019 to 2023, they hit a million subscribers. That's great. That is phenomenal, especially because they're in the gay community. It's hard to achieve. So congratulations, ladies. Back house. You were in your back house. I was living with my brother and a whole leap of people in my apartment. We was a little brokey. A oh little brokey. Oh, my God. We was big brokey. We big brokey. We was big brokey. With a lot of followers. With but, a lot of followers. But, but we decided to take that freaking <laughs> leap of faith, y'all. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe it, man. We came from blood, sweat, tears. We did it all, and we, and we owe it all to you guys. Thank you guys so much for really investing in us when it comes to just yes. watching us and like, yeah please don't forget your followers they're the ones that helped you achieve that goal and the reaction channels that helped bump you up and promote your videos whether they were negative or positive you know you're welcome the continued support and the continued viewers will always help you with your grind that's taken going <sighs> through so many yes. emotions with us breakups with us Damn, we, we did break up baby Dra <laughs> the drama the drama the, oh my gosh like yes. i feel like y'all really know us and mm -hmm. you really did watch us start from the bottom start and get to where bottom. we are right now right now and baby you look like a million subscribers <laughs> yo you look good <laughs> you know what i was just trying to match your fly hey man hey man baby <laughs> chill out you look good man when i say a million subscribers like just feels like it's a different level it you does. know what i'm saying it's a different type of level it, it i'm is, sure it you know is what? i'm you sure know, it, it is. smells a little different up here it do smell a little different it, it smells a little different you know what they say they mm. say on your you know, on your rise to the top, yeah. you know, people just gonna start acting different. And I feel like as soon as we hit a million subscribers, That's true. Shit was we switched. started losing friends. friends. And if you aren't watching, I'm doing air quotations air quotes, around 
friends. friends. You know what? Let me put these on, baby. I got some. I got some. There, there it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Put the shades on, baby. Put the shades yeah, it's on. Getting, it's about to get real shady up in here because mm. I'm tired of holding my goddamn tongue. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm tired of. I got I'm tired questions, of these but, fake ass friends. But I'm going to let them finish. And I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired of always taking the high road. Yeah. I'm tired, tired of being the mature one. Mm, I'm tired of always giving people the benefit of the doubt. I'm tired. Tired. What are you tired, baby? I'm not being my truest petty self, cause Yo. Lord, only Lord knows, only Lord. God knows God how much knows. I hold back. Damn, and baby is petty. If y'all was on the journey <laughs> from the beginning, baby used to do her little petty videos. And Girl, I you were petty too. I got my pettiness from her because behind, behind closed doors, baby got it. Listen, you know what I'm saying? But that's she's, an she's, ugly. She's evolved that's now. an ugly and characteristic, I, though. Like she's saying it like it's a show off. Like no, that's ugly as fuck. <laughs> That means you're letting people get to you, and you gotta you get you gotta do your little revenge. I think you're at your weakest when you gotta do that. Paul, but it's, it's time to tap tap hey, tap in though. I just saw a meme the other day that was like, "Look, what? I said I'm healing, not healed. Yeah, do okay. not test me. Don't test okay. me. And I related I'm glad more you said than that. I can tell you, baby. I'm sick of it. Damn, man. Why is it when you get like bigger and like I guess in I, it's not even just the industry. I just feel like when you get when you become more evolved, you're more tapped in with yourself. People start hating Testing on you even, even more. more, bro. I feel Why? like literally, you know what? You hear the rumors. You hear the rumors of yeah. how fake this industry is. It is and fake. I swear it is fake. To God. It's phony as fuck. Don't put it on my guard. I know. Don't right. even, don't even do even it. Not, not- so check this out. I was in the music industry for five years back in Chicago. Just the local hip hop scene. The entertainment world is full of phony people they only want to be around you they only want to talk to you because they're trying to use your sources they're trying to use your contacts to get ahead they don't give a fuck about you and that's a fact but you have to be able to notice these things and point them out avoid those people you get what i'm saying unless you're one of those sharks and who knows i don't know their story but if if you're attracting that many sharks, you might be one of them. You're in the same waters. I've never been in the L.A. entertainment world, but living in L.A., I could tell you, even the average person, you you meet a lot of fake people. So I can understand their struggle. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not, not God's fault. It's not. It's not. But yeah, it but. is so true how fake this industry is. Yeah, when it comes to just people just lying on you you know uh-huh. what i'm saying when it comes to when it comes to people just backstabbing mm. you when it comes to people scheming on you you mm. think they're your friend and really they're only your friend if you got something to offer them yeah. and as soon as you ain't just handing stuff out anymore things switch up they switch the fuck up let's talk about it mm. well let's been- talk about that actually you have to own up to your responsibility in that and hold accountability to your actions and why that is natalie did you hear yourself when you said when you stop giving then they start to act different. Well, why did you give so much to begin with? You know, you spoiled a child. And now that spoiled child is acting rebellious when you finally say no. You created that monster. I know you guys are rich. You guys hit million subscribers and you guys are doing great. You guys are being successful in the entertainment world. But showing off what you have is, is going to attract those type of people. And if you're giving early on, that is what you're creating. Own up to the fact that you played a part in it. You're not always the victim. I do a lot, baby. I already like, know, honey. You know, it's, 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 let me take these off because, you know, these is just, just for, it's props at this point, man. Times is hard and it, is, it sucks because it's like, I really be trying to be a real friend. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? And I know, like, baby. Damn. I know. You've been going through trials and tribulations, but <laughs> guess who's going to be here no matter what? Mm-hmm. Oh, that through, the fake friends, through the fake friends. Through the fake Through the haters uniting like Power Rangers. Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Hater Raids. Right. <laughs> hater Rangers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like, damn, like, what should we call them? Like, shit, that's my problem. I be searching for real friends, and I need to know the definition of an actual fake friend before I can have a real friend. So you know, that what I'm you know so you can identify Ex- when these friends are real. So exactly. let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What's, what's your definition of a fake friend? Honestly, honestly, a like fake ass you've been friend, some shit. You've a been fake, shit. hey, and you know I'm gonna see yeah. y'all as a mile away. Yeah, and all these little fakies, all yeah. these little fakies. Yeah, and listen, I just want y'all to know I saw you. I saw you from a mile away. Then why'd she you bring them around? Did. But that, I did. but that makes you a fake friend too. Oh, God, child, listen. If you saw them from a mile away, you knew way before that person came into your circle, you still uh, you still opened up that door and allowed them in into your home, into your family's world, into your um, 
business world and into your other friendships, you let this person in. So you knowing they were fake must mean you were fake as well towards them. Because why would you be a true and loyal and honest friend to someone that you know is fake? I got more questions than answers. Then I called it. When I tell y'all, Natalie is so tapped in and she gives me the four warnings like way ahead of time. But me, I'd be so excited about friendships because I love people. Yeah, she's yes. just a sweet heart. She's Man. a sweet. I mean, you know what? She fuck. she she'll she'll turn up on you if you deserve it. But really it and takes truly, lot, it does though. take a lot. And really and truly, she be just trying to give people the benefit of the doubt. So listen, okay. I'm gonna give you a crash course right now so you can see it. Okay, come tell in. me, baby. Before tell next, me. you know what I mean? Okay, all right. What is it? Tell so me. What's a fake friend? First of all, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, a friend is okay, fake, right? But a fake friend slash red flags in a all friend. Right. You know, a friend is fake. Uh -huh. Okay, if they come to you, okay. Mm -hmm. Talking about their other friends Ooh, or trying that's to true. spill some tea about somebody else's life when you didn't even ask them. And they want to tell you, I would never really say this. I just really trust you. Okay. I know you fucking I don't lie. even know you like that. I don't even know you. Why are you telling me their business? What? So if you're telling me their business, you're telling other people my business. Of course. I don't trust you. Fake friend. Red flag. Mm -hmm. Red flag. Fake oh, friend. Man, I got one. I got one. I feel like a fake friend is somebody that like only seeks to be your friendship for opportunity mm. and, and you can as long feel as you're it. giving them something yes exactly that's a fake friend you can spot them my way wait red flag literally red flag. a fake friend a fake is friend? whenever you know when you just meet somebody yeah y'all are having some good energy yeah. you know you're having some good laughs and mm -hmm. they automatically start wanting to tell you they love you okay oh first of all <laughs> Baby, I can relate to that so much. Oh, yo, that's a good one. Yo, I hate that too. Okay, so let's be clear here. I want you guys to know because I'm a very honest person. I'm an open book. I have no friends. I have zero friends. I have acquaintances. I socialize. I am not shy. I can go out there and talk to the world. I'm an open book. I share my thoughts, my opinions, my life to everybody, including social media and in return some people get comfortable and they want to share theirs which I'm always up for because I love to hear about people's stories and how they became the person that they are today people use the word friend and the words I love you too loosely okay because you don't understand how many people have called me their friend and how many people have told me that they love me and I'm like what what and they know that i don't consider nobody my friends that takes work just like any relationship you have to work for it i mean there has to be signs that it's genuine and that it is for long term because all these temporary people i just don't have time for it i'll say what's up i'll hang out but that's about it when people are so quick to call you a friend and the i love yous that's too much that's too much either they are fake or they themselves are too gullible and are too trusting of people to where they let too many people in and they get hurt constantly, but they don't learn their lesson. So it doesn't necessarily mean that they are fake. First That's a good all, one. That's a good do one. Do not, listen, do yeah. not tell me you love me if you don't mean it. Yeah. And you can't really mean it if you don't really know me. I really me take that so seriously. I feel yeah. like love is such a strong word and I can't, there's nothing Agreed. worse than somebody being like, okay, love you, bye. And mm -hmm. like, really, you, I know you don't love me because like, if, even if I really needed you, I know you're not going to, pop up for yeah. me like this person right here that really loves me and will and will and do and, and do and do <laughs> always <laughs> and forever locked Agree. In. always and forever baby yes, all right baby. give me another one what's another Ooh. like because this is for y'all too i want y'all yes. to know this is how you look out for a fake friend and if you got any weirdos in your corner look for these little red flags i got one mm -hmm. when you confide in a friend right <sighs> And they literally, you're telling them everything because you think that they're your friend, right? Yeah. You're telling them your secrets. You're feeling like, I got, you know, I could trust you. Right. But then if you have an argument or maybe y'all, you know what? You realize y'all ain't really good friends. Right. Y'all fall out and they go tell your ops, your business. That's sad. That is so sad. Spite, I'm not, not like spite. that. It's weird. No, it's weird. It is it's weird. And a lot of people have opened up to me because they feel comfortable enough to do so. But I ain't going to be out there telling their business. Like, my best friends in life were always my partners, my romantic partners. I know a lot about their past that their family doesn't. 
And sometimes they even tell me their best friend's business because I'm their best friend and I'm their partner. So they feel comfortable and confide in me because they have concerns or opinions on certain things. I still keep that right here, even when, even when the, their best friends don't like me and can care less about my ass. Bitch, I know your secrets. <laughs> and guess what? It's still in here. It ain't coming out of here. Here. Weird. It's weird and it's crazy to yes. me. Because not only did you, what, that to me Jeez. just showed that not only are you not a good friend, you're just not a good person. person. Yeah. Because that's what, oh, wait, I got a good one. <laughs> what? I got a good Something one. Something just popped what, what, in her head. You know, okay, this is a fake ass person. So, okay. like, you fall out with your friend, right? Okay. And then they immediately go and start flirting with your partner under their Instagram post and like oh. try and saying like DM me and all this other <laughs> weird shit. Bruh, you thought what it's the fuck? <laughs> so I never had that happen, but shortly after my divorce, one of my ex-wife's friends who I never met but I heard of sent me a long ass message. In my opinion, I felt like they were trying to get at me. I left one word answers, one word responses, and they also brought up something that was negative about my ex-wife. And I'm like, you know what? That's not my business. That's between you two. So you guys figure that out. I'm staying out. Because I didn't give her the attention she wanted, she gave up. I screenshotted all that, sent it over to my ex. Because by the end of the day, I don't owe you any type of loyalty. She's a person in my past that I truly loved and cared for. So of course I'm gonna send it over. I'm like, just so you know, this is your friend. Just look out for this girl. First of all, it's repulsive. Bruh, I literally, I can't even believe it. You know what I'm saying? I really can't believe that people do that. And like, I don't understand. I don't think y'all understand what she's saying. Like literally <laughs> your friend is not cool with you no more. So they try to go get at your girl or your man. Mind you, they in a relationship. In a relationship? I'm like, <laughs> what fake. is this your shit end really game? happened to it's them? It's not just fake. It just shows that you are like the slithering mm. snake. It's like an ick. It, it's so gross. It's, it's gross. And honestly, to me, it's laughable. And it's also like, That's first ugly. of all, we go laugh at that shit. First together. of all, <laughs> ew. Second of all, ew. ew. Like, just absolutely yeah. not. I would never do that. Like, I am, I am, a, I'm not that type of girl. I'm not that yeah. type That's of girl. So and even if I was, <laughs> not to you. Yeah. We, <laughs> anyway. we laugh at that shit, though. We do laugh at we it. Did. But it's just like, but what? it's crazy. So yeah, honestly, there's so many examples of how people really will, tr really truly show yeah. you their true colors um after you fall out with them and then guess what you, all you have to know is that you dodged a bullet because listen i'm gonna be the same person and a friendship that i am outside now yeah. we might have our disagreements and not everyone is meant for each other right. but one thing that i'm not gonna do is turn into a shady exactly fucking weirdo. yeah i'm not gonna start trying to talk to your your partner calling you names and all this other because that's weird. just not who i was in the friendship so maybe i'm not gonna fuck with you like that so like yeah cool we don't really talk mm -hmm. i if i see you you know we, we we're don't not even really gotta be no be, beef but it like, don't gotta be beef we they be creating it though they create right. the beef <laughs> They create the beef and I feel like, damn, like, okay, if we fall out as friends and we're not compatible as friends, why is it that you now are trying to curate beef? You know what another fake friend is? Mm. It's somebody that you could feel that's been hating on you. You know what I'm saying? And you just kind of keep them at a distance, but they feel somebody else don't like you, so they hop on a bandwagon. So that's why, fake, why do they like mm. Mighty Morph? Power Ranger, that shit? I don't I'm, know, bro. Is it, is, you think it's like a misery love? So that's what happened to me with my ex-wife's aunt who i helped financially with housing she was all smiles and giggles and up until she moved out didn't say nothing negative about me until my ex-mother-in-law went on social media and said something really low down about me right but i'm respectful enough to where i'm i i'm not gonna say anything bad to her I'm not going to leave no comments. I'm not going to do a reaction post. I've never been disrespectful. But then sure enough, that aunt was leaving comments. Mad shit about me. I'm like, ooh. I'm like, now you're telling me your true feelings. Where was this when I was helping you for a whole year? Company yes, that's thing. exactly what it is. It's, because misery <laughs> it's literally misery loves company. Why are you laughing? Because it's fucking. 
fucking weird. I can't believe. Honestly, I would say this is some high school shit, but I feel yeah. like it's worse now. I feel like it's worse than it was yeah. in high school because at least you have the you have yeah. the excuse that we're <clears throat> children in high school. Right. But when you're a grown ass adult and most of these people are actually older than us, yeah. it's like, what is really going on? Like you would yeah. think with time you would just become right a little more evolved i think a little bit more you would think, I think so. that's the problem though i think that people aren't really tapped into who they are as human beings mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying they don't know who they are you know what i'm saying at 34 you know what i'm saying but like it's like at the end of the day you gotta find yourself and know who you are you know what i'm saying exactly. and do a lot of digging because that person that you are is disgusting and now you're morphing into somebody else's personality well, just, to, also, just to, because misery loves company you know what i'm saying like oh they not they on the hate train let me hop on it too and dig some secrets out that she told me that had nothing to do with me but i'm i, I don't fuck with her either like absolutely what? and honestly that is only a temporary band-aid for yeah. if your true unhappiness mm -hmm. and that's and i and I, i'm saying this from like a concerned place and not right. from like a petty place anymore yeah. like now let's really talk about it yeah whenever you decide okay to i like that i like that she gave that disclaimer because that does matter when you start to make more money when things are going better for you you're in a better space things do change around you but it's because of three things one the people around you are now envious of what you have and what you've accomplished and they're not in that place yet so they start to change on you or number two you start to change, sometimes not for the better. You start be to become a little bougie, a little show off, a little too good, a little snooty. Of course, the people around you <clears throat> will see that and don't wanna be around it. Or number three, it's a mix of both. So whenever you do see that change, the only advice I have to give for people is observe, take the time to actually take everything in into account and really find out what was the cause of it before you let someone go. Because sometimes they are good friends and they just want the best for you. And sometimes they have to be honest with you on how you're being, if that was the case. Not everyone are haters because a lot of successful people automatically pointed out to that. People around me changed because I got more money now. They're haters. Not always. Somebody that you've been talking shit about <clears throat> because weird. they also uh, don't, we, you know, we don't all vibe, right? Yeah. And now you want to, you know, make videos and try to like kiki <laughs> with the person and stuff like it. It's it's only going to feel good in the moment. Yeah. But when you go home and you lay your head on that pillow, that misery you're pillow. still that miserable <laughs> pillow, you're still going to feel that <laughs> ick inside of you because it's not about Emptiness. it's it's not about anything except for the fact that like you just need some time with yourself mm -hmm. and it's okay for people to fall out but it's just the way that people go about it that mm -hmm. is just so strange like can you just fall can we just decide we just aren't friends we're not gonna be cool right. and we're not compatible and we're not no. compatible as friends like can yeah. we just decide that and it doesn't have to be on some i'm going and trying to talk shit about you and chase clout online now because that That's is the weird. thing that's the thing and I think it is because we do have a you know a big platform you know what I'm saying so I feel like when something doesn't go their way the ops the the people that envy you you know what I'm saying when it doesn't go their way it's like oh yeah let me expose them but if there's nothing to expose what are you afraid of you get what I'm saying you cannot be exposed unless you have something to hide let them talk who cares ignore them sometimes that's the best thing you can do is avoid and ignore because they want your attention. They want you to respond. They want that clout that you have. And by you responding, you're giving them that. Stop doing it. <laughs> Stop doing it. Comes with it though. Mm -hmm. And people used to say that to us, oh, this industry is weird. And it's, it's like this. And it's like, at the end of the day, I feel like it's a lot of people experience this, experience this, but being on that higher stature of just having followers, you really see people are really fake when it just comes to followers. Imagine Beyonce, bro. Oh my God. Imagine, <laughs> imagine. I like, thought about that. that I thought about that shit. So for those who are new to my channel, when I only had 2,000 subscribers, I reacted to one of their videos and they were upset about it. Easy and Natalie. Easy made a video. Everyone knew who it was about. They all came to my channel. There was so much hate on my channel from the Easy and Natalie fans. It was crazy and I was new to social media. I just learned about filming and reacting on YouTube. Just learned about it. I'm like, damn, that made me feel really bad about myself because of that. And, and it was a small amount compared to people like 
Beyonce, like they said, like, damn, if this is how I was feeling. I can't just, I can't imagine how they felt. But they've been in the game for so long that they know, they now know how to go about things. They're still human. They're still going to feel that hurt. They're still going to feel a little insecure about certain things. They become a little numb to it. And that's why I was so good at what I did and still being uncensored about my reactions to certain videos because you do become numb to it. So I do want to thank Easy and Natalie for giving me that giving me that experience. I only had this channel for like ooh, months when that happened. So I learned quickly to become numb to a lot of the comments and remember that this might be a 12 year old <laughs> commenting. I can't take it personal when they can't even show me their face. You know, these are not my friends. These are not my family members. So why care so much? Exactly, because it's like, damn, you can't trust nobody because you really think you could fight in a friend and they praying on your downfall. Right. It's like, damn, damn. Now you got to be broken, miserable by yourself because I was trying to uplift you. I was trying to give you the pointers. Like, why? Sheesh. And that's the crazy <laughs> thing, too, is Shit. because I really feel like as friends, you know, the type of friends that I feel like we are is... Really, we're just looking for friendship. No, that's our problem. We're not doing that shit no more. We we're not were. looking for friendships. <laughs> right. We're not. We when Easy makes a decision for them, um, I don't know. You guys are people. People. You guys love to socialize. I, I consider both of you to be extroverted, especially Easy. So you guys are around way too many people to not make friends, especially since you guys are open to friendships. You guys have your circle of close friends already as it is that I think you will still be open for it, which is fine, you guys. Don't let this these experiences traumatize you in creating friendships. The difference between them and me and why I have no friends and I'm deciding to have no friends is because I've always been that way my whole life. I grew up in a household where my mom taught us children that do not trust anyone but your family. Okay. I don't like that advice nowadays because I think it did ruin me for the rest of my life because that's the base that I had. So I've never created friendships. Till this day, people want to be my friend. You guys, just because I have no friends doesn't mean I have problems making friends. It's easy to make friends and to call people your friend. It takes a lot more for me. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll have a friend or two, but I've seen how people do each other. And I just don't like humans. I just don't. People are cold. People are selfish. People only care for a certain amount of time. And then when, when, when that time with them ends, they become bitter. And they say some of the harshest things to you that you never knew you, they felt until that day they decide to speak up at the very end. So it's like, I, I don't got time for the drama. You know what I'm saying? I'm better off with just me and my dog. I'll hang out though. I'll talk to you. Chill. That's about it. You two, Easy and Natalie, you guys are meant to have friends. I think you guys need it. At least keep your, your close circle of friends because if this industry is terrible and it's hard to find genuine friends, keep what you have. It's the simple fact that we trust people. We, we're not looking for mm -hmm. shit no more. Yeah. And I'm tired of us doing that. Mm -hmm. we, we be giving people, letting people in our house, telling people our business, inviting them around our family. Like, I'm tired of this shit. Y'all all are fake as fuck. Like, super fake. And I'm tired of dealing with people in my face. And I'm not seeking no friendships no more. We ain't seeking no friendships no nah, more. No, you gotta say, like, and that's what, and trust and nobody. what you really hear, what you really hear is, first of all, it's not like you turn cold. It's not like you turn. Well, you know the shit I'm going no, through. Like, no, like, absolutely, damn. absolutely, absolutely. But you know, I'm always gonna be here to be your sounding board, mm -hmm. and we gonna bounce ideas off of each other and stuff. And it's not that <sighs> when you go through something, it's not that God wants you to close your heart off to yeah. everybody. Right. It's just about keeping your circle tight yeah. and not just right. allowing everyone in. And I think naturally, the type of people we are. I think if if Easy was told that she was cold, it probably came across that way. But what she's doing is putting her guard up. And that's okay for her to do that. It's her life. It's her life. Only she can decide who she wants to let in. If she if she's choosing to close up for a while, that's okay. Is like it's not like we're going out like seeking like begging people to be our friends, but we I think because we have good intentions for people, we expect that they're gonna yeah. have good intentions for us as well, and we get excited to be around other people that, that we're like seem real, that seem genuine. real and fun and mm -hmm. exciting and stuff like that. And it doesn't take long for you to realize 
people's true colors. At least it doesn't take me that long. And I think what hurts the most is when you were being genuine. Yeah. When you were being genuine to them and then you that end up finding sucks. out they're That's doing shitty. some like ruthless shit. And I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna stop it right there though. So she's about to get into it. Okay, so you guys go ahead and go over to their channel, go over to their podcast and watch the whole show. But for me, I ain't doing it. Okay, I just got up not too long ago. My voice is a little eh, drinking a little coffee. So I got to end the video here. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that you got to do to support my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.